Hello everyone, it's time again for one of those um, time lapses of my streams. Um, this is the little bow goblin. Uh, I think he was called Murky by my viewers. Um, he's actually a little bit different to what I usually do. Um, I did a whole bunch of uh, sort of on the spot designing of him, which is normal. But uh, when it came to animation, I took a little bit of a different approach. Here we can see I just decided he's going to have a bow, not a crossbow. And those big red eyes were just not quite working for me, so I decided to change them as well. Um, but usually when I finish the design, I do a black outline planning session for the you know, for the for the run and the idle and whatever. Um, but this time, uh, I decided. Well, he's such a small little thing. Uh, black outline planning is not really going to work. So I did the whole cut and move um, procedure for his animation, which is something I don't usually do because it tends to make your animations a little bit more. Um, what's the word? Stiff because you end up with pieces that don't really change um, as you animate. Um, however, because I am the way I am uh, <laughs> and have to do everything the hard way, I did end up redrawing most of the frames anyway. And so he did end up fitting into my normal style of animation. Uh, here I'm starting to get the the coloring right for his face and because of the way I moved his eyes I decided well we'll open his mouth as well and that that ended up being a very good idea because he then just it just added so much character to his little face. And he was actually going quite quickly. Being so small and not having too many different uh, parts, Murky was actually surprisingly easy to animate. With many of my animations, I end up taking two to three streams per animation. Uh, Murky was pretty much one one and done for animations. Each stream I would uh, I'd get one of his animations done and then do a whole bunch of uh, other things like sub sprites for people who subscribe to my channel and so forth. It was actually kind of nice to have a character that's not as difficult um, to animate for once. Of course, after Murky, I... I <laughs> I never again had such an easy go at it. And there we go. There's the finished idle animation for Murky. Um, I love the little <laughs> that he has when, he, when he's just uh, standing there. He did end up being quite an annoying enemy uh, because being a ranged enemy, you'll just suddenly find your characters losing um, uh, losing health out of nowhere and then see, oh wait, there's a murky over there. Because they're so small, you miss them quite easily. The next thing that had to happen is the run. Now I decided very early on that murky would have a similar run cycle to Larry that you see in the top right here. Uh, which made it easy because it meant I had a reference. Now for this, obviously, I went back to the old way of doing things with the black outline planning stages. I didn't really have a choice. Uh, you couldn't. I couldn't do uh, the divide and move uh, uh, style animation with with this sort of movement. It this, it's, it just changes too much. Um, and I wanted him to change angle, you know, have his, have his face change angle and 
all that sort of stuff. And that doesn't really work if you chop and change parts uh, and move them around. The whole thing about opening his mouth, I brought through into this animation. So he keeps, arm, arm, arm. <laughs> and at this point, it looked like it was just a flying head. Because <laughs> the ears looked like little flapping wings, which was quite fun. But again, this went remarkably quickly. Doing a whole run cycle in just one stream was um, refreshing, to say the least. Um, he was such an easy little character. I don't know if easy is necessarily the right word, but he was such a, a pleasant character to animate. And then the last little thing is just his little loincloth and baldric. And then obviously his weapon needs to go after that. There we go. I think I had a little bit of trouble getting his weapon not to look weird in the bounce. But there we go. There's the finished run as well. I think even though Murky was really easy to animate, I still think he's one of my favorite little um, enemies in my game so far. Thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, all that stuff. You know how to do it. See you next time.